One look at a volatile is enough to make me curl into a fetal position. It's theory time! Hey hey hey! I'm the Global Chair and we'll be uncovering new shocking theories and secret details in Dying Light 2 before release. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! The prologue begins with Aiden getting chased by virals in a tunnel and jumping across a gorge to a lush green mountainous region, the entrance to Villador. Everything looks so lively considering only the rooftops had vegetation and dying light too. The world may not be as dead as we think. Aiden meets Spike, who praises him for being so fast and offers to show him something. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a dead, a dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. This is 100% Spike from Dying Light 1, from his facial features, scars, and age accuracy. It also appears that Aiden and Spike are good friends as they complement each other's strength and share some honey from a beehive. Spike later shows him a hideout in a rooftop garden, where people have died throwing a farewell party. Aiden tells Spike that those people chose to die. Spike responds that he hopes they have that choice. Spike later calls Aiden over to give him a gift, Aiden's first weapon. He offers Aiden a beer, and upon drinking it, Aiden complains in disgust that the beer is flat. Spike told him not to have high hopes on the taste. It's the apocalypse after all. Spike looks into the sky and says to himself, who can think that the end of the world can be that peaceful? Aiden responds, <laughs> at least during the day. Spike chimes in agreement. Yeah, that's right. Really hope that Crane can see it all. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. He really misses his friend that he met in Haran. And seeing how Teclan also released a Spike trailer, this proves my theory even more. Now, onto my theory about Dying Light 2 zombies. It gets dark and Aiden hears some growling in the tall grass. A banshee leaps out of the grass and lunges at him with their massive talons. <laughs> This type of zombie is extremely dangerous and intelligent, as it attacks her prey after jumping on them. She then runs away quickly, not giving the victim enough time to retaliate. If you take a look at her appearance, she wears a dress, has very long talons, glowing orange weak spots, and toxic mist coming out of her. This indicates that she is a special mutation. Your only option for survival is to dodge her and hit her. In the video, you can also see some sluggish spiders trying to grab Aiden. They're not threatening and they're very slow, but once surrounded by 20 of them, you'll become a human candy bar. We then get introduced to the Howler, a special zombie that calls it all its homies in the city upon seeing Aiden. Once its eyes lock onto you, glowing lava-like veins emerge on its body. Hakon and Aiden got its message and began to run like their life depended on it, and you should too. Run! Virals are common recently turned infected, shown in the prologue that run to you quickly and attack. Not being able to part from human life, they're able to talk. Goons will return to Dying Light 2 but are much stronger with their heavy wielding weapons. However, they are very dumb. Morons. Demolishers are large and rock-like creatures that will use their left and right fists to destroy you. They can also chuck boulders like Chris Redfield and they now throw zombies too. Let me give you a demonstration of what Big Chungus did to me. <coughs> Other zombies are hazmat suits and spitters that spit acid at you no matter where you are. There's also the revenant with five branches growing from its back in the form of wings. You should probably run if you see one. This special infected is super strong and strengthens the zombies around it through toxic mist. However, if you really want to fight it, attack the orange spots on its back. <laughs> Teclan's newly released audio story talks about a Japanese man named Takeshi who lived in Villador. <laughs> Is that Kiryu? Takashi was waiting for his wife Nico at home, but upon her return, she screams at him in fear and lunges at him with a knife. He begged her to stop and ended up killing her. He also tries to help people including some peacekeepers and ends up murdering them. A strange detail brought to my attention was that Takashi always ends up waiting at home for his wife. The end of the tale reveals Takashi to be a revenant with human consciousness, bringing me to my theory. <laughs> Why 
What if all the infected not only mutated, but developed a human mind? It happened to the mother and crane, so this could be possible. Maybe their minds are conscious, but their infected nature conflicts with it. This could also apply to the volatiles as well, as they never get tired, run very fast, and calculate ways to hunt their prey at night. Oh, shit. In the morning though, they're cooked, they're bacon. <laughs> An urban legend described a beast called Jonah that brings bad luck and destruction to people they meet. Those who've sailed know that Jonah brings bad luck. I thought Jonah was simply the name of the volatile, but what if it wasn't? We've seen Aiden help people but also bring destruction. Wait, don't! It seems that people who meet him also receive bad luck. Also, who is Aiden Caldwell's voice actor? Jonah Scott. Aiden is Jonah. Also, in terms of urban legends, there were rumors of part of the city being submerged underwater. We witnessed Aiden going on a quest to renegade territory to restore water to the city, but also released a terrifying monster known as the Drowner. These are the beasts that Aiden can potentially encounter throughout Dying Light 2's story. Techland also decided to reward us with more last-gen gameplay before Dying Light 2's release date. Let's react to it together and let's pinpoint details we noticed. There's also a parkour run released that really shows us how lifelike Dying Light 2 really is. NPCs are talking to each other, they're showing some hostility to Aiden for being a pilgrim, and Aiden is running to the nuanced music. So that's the pilgrim. Don't look like one of the sin. I hope you enjoy my theory video. If you want more Dying Light content, let me know. Comment down below any interesting details you noticed about the gameplay, or even your theories. Dying Light 2 is less than a week away, and I cannot wait to try this game myself with many others. I was given a challenge by one of you to fight the infected and humans without touching the ground. We'll see if I'll be able to do that. Thank you for watching, and that's all.